Okay, so this is the other channel, and I've just set it up. So um, you can see over there, hopefully in the background. Um, that's going to go into a different lens, but never mind. So it's pulling about 200 milliamp through, and let me just get that back to there. Okay, and we have about. Ooh, let me get this on here and on there and over there you can see we've got 19.8 millivolts around that that'll do okay just for us to do the do the square wave test i don't expect it to be much different um to the uh to the other one so let me just go over to here so the square wave here we are at uh, 50 50k just do a single hit on that it looks relatively the same gonna drop that to 20 because that's what we're really interested in and that's you know and that was that was good enough um, let's go to uh, 1k um, a little bit there which no, that's that's okay really let's look at 10k yeah it's not too bad and it's not i mean it's not bad i shouldn't say it's not too bad it's not bad 100 hertz okay so slide with the base going off down there uh let's go to 20 hertz and again I mean that is not really really too bad I've seen them down here down here at 20 hertz a little bit of roller for the bass there 30 hertz just going on what my speakers are just for the sake of it it's perfectly respectable uh, 46 for my other speakers Okay, and uh, you know, that's perfectly respectable again, but what we should keep an eye on is see, uh, just doing that on single shots. Uh, let's put us up to 232, and it's dropping off. Well, that's drop off because remember, this is running in A mode or slight A, and so it gets hot. You know, this is quite warm, so that's quite warm there as well. And I've got to use, it was no good. When I first tried it with the other one, I just did it on one of these while that thing up the heat sink got really hot. So I've had to put it on the two uh, to try and share that. And um, and yeah, so uh, let's have a little look at, uh, uh, we'll do a quick frequency response on this. Just a little nose at it. Uh, da, da, da. Just bring this down so it's a bit more zoomed in. Uh, 0.2, 10 to 50k. Let's run that. And again, when we look, we're uh, 0 0.09 down at 20 hertz. A slight different to the other one. Uh, 0.12 is pretty much the same as the other one at the highest peak there. Uh, so there's not much difference there. Um, quick, quick spectrum analyzer. Uh, we'll go seven there because that's what the other ones are. One channel, same thing. Hit that. You know, it might look like there's more noise down here, but there isn't. It's because it's just not averaged out as much as uh, as I did before. But the same thing is this was on 66, wasn't it? Yeah, so it was 66.6 .6 on the other one, if I remember rightly. And I bet if we give that a bit more averaging. Well, I say I bet, I'm not going to bet. Just trying to see if we get anything lower on that in actual fact. Uh, no, 66, but it's 66.6 .6 on the other one. Uh, but again, you know, it sort of drops off, which is okay. Uh, we'll have a little look at this uh, THD 
noise, uh, up to one watt. Um, sorry, eight ohm load, range one to a hundred watts. Total on my this noise and that. I'm just gonna run that. Okay, and really we're looking at what my power supply is gonna dish out to it here. Uh, around about 50 watts, but as we get to the, the one percent, 61 watts. But if we just look at it, uh, when it goes on its knee here, and it's you know, um, um, 0 0.09, we're at 45 50 watts. Well, that seems to be happy around about 30 watts, the happiest. If but, um, you know, that's not too bad. We're going to try it with the bigger uh, power supply. But the main thing was was to have a little look at this and put that to a thousand. You see that on there, you know, it doesn't doesn't look too bad at all. Got this slight increase there for the the trebly side, um, but we can see that on the frequency response anyway, where it lifts there slightly. But okay, that's that's that. Um, overall, yeah, it seems to be okay. Um, I don't think the transistors are genuine. They could be, but they look like the. They just don't look. Um, you know, maybe that is maybe that is the way they look. With that bit uh, like that. But this is definitely well and truly stuck to that. It's going to take some prizing off, but maybe we could look at trying different transistors in here. And you know, as I got to take these out anyway, and uh, and see what see what we can do out of it. I wish they'd have put that more on the horizontal than on the vertical, um, just because I prefer it. To have looked like that, but never mind, that's just the way it is. Uh, what we got here, I think this is 10, 10 microfarad, isn't it? So, one zero and six zeros, 10 microfarad for the input capacitor. Let's change that out to something nicer, but it's a nice, nice big capacitor. No? All right, I was also just playing for a little bit of time there just to see. You know, if that was going to reduce down again um, to the, yeah, that that is quite warm. It's not really, really hot and you can, but it's, uh, if you had got cold hands, that's feeling quite warm. Let's have a little look and see what it says. It's voltages now across there. It's all warmed up. Yeah, that's 30. Well, that's too high, it's at between 15 and 22, isn't it? But you can see that sort of going down. And as it goes down, our uh, quiescent current goes down. Maybe it could start off a little bit lower. But that's the main thing I think you need to consider with this, is it's going to need a bit of a beefy um, heat sink. Plenty of heat sinking for it. Um, and it's going to be running using more power uh, than some of the other, uh, like the L12, or even the other Syme, Syme 5-3 um, amplifier. What it sounds like, I don't know. It doesn't look like it's going to have anything, you know, dodgy with it. So I expected the sound, you know, okay. It looks like on the frequency response, what you put in is, you know... Um, it's all going to be sort of like it's not going to be anything I need or taken away from it particularly and uh, but it's going to be down to people's personal preference again when it comes to the actual output sound it's going to come down to personal preference it's that there's a whole bunch of variables in there a whole bunch of subjectivity and as long as the measurements don't show anything dodgy you know you should be okay all right, well, that's it then for that look at that. And uh, oh, we're going to do a power one, aren't we, with full power? Okay, I'll come back and we'll set up with the uh, the other transformer.
and we'll see how much how much we can get out of this into eight ohms. Okay, so we've got it connected up to the bigger transformer to so the capacitor of the bank here. And what I'm just going to show you is um, that this, as it gets warmer, this so this um, this 500 ohm variable potentiometer here. Uh, when you're setting it, it's all going to be temperature dependent. Meaning that when you, if you try to set it when it's all like cold, um, it's going to be of a different value to when it's warmed up. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to wait for this thing to stabilize. And so you're going to turn it on and just let it warm itself up. And then after, I don't know, give it a good few minutes. Um, we're not going to, you know, I'm just going to, um, we'll do a jump cut type thing uh, from when this first starts. But I'll show you, this is set the way it was when it was connected to the power supplies there. And now it's connected to the power supply here, the, to the big transformer. And um, what I'm going to show you now is uh, over there you'll see um that as this warms up the quiescent current um the uh, the voltage sorry uh will go up and uh looks like i need to change my battery in this thing so uh um let me just uh first of all i'm just gonna put the power on yeah hopefully you heard that now hopefully without getting my gangly arms in the way you're gonna see over there as that goes up all right so rather than just sit here waiting for this to get up to its temperature and me to make the adjustments what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna that's the lowest the 15 millivolts now we've, we've gone up in voltage so obviously my my setting will be too high as we can see, look, it's 22 is the highest that says between 15 and 22, and we're already going past that. So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to twiddle this down. Which on here, it's turning it clockwise. So let me just get the little thing to sit in there. That's it. So I'm just going to twiddle it that amount, which is near enough a turn on there, which is, was, which is going to be quite a big amount. The reason I'm changing these wires over is to keep the polarity the same, so it's easier to read. Oh, what have we got going on here? So we're at 14. Okay, but as you can see, it's still going up. So I'm going to leave it a few minutes. And uh, we'll jump cut into when I think it's warm enough. And do a little... Uh, so I can feel it warming up. It's not terribly warm or anything, it's just it's just warming up. But I'm gonna leave it a few minutes now, hopefully, so it'll stabilize out. And this is putting 42 volts in there because we've got a 30 volt transformer. And you know it's around 40 volts. Um, 42 volts, because we're gonna times the 30 by 1.414. Okay, so what we got here now. It's around about 17. Well, I've left it for a good few minutes to... 17, 6. Yeah, around about there. That'll do. That means we can run the test, okay? Let's just do a quick look at the spectral analyzer, see how much more noise we might be introducing into this thing. Uh, I'll put this around about the same as what it was, 0.250. On this, uh, just on the one channel. It's in that, yeah, it's about the same. Just so six five point eight, or it was six six, wasn't it? Okay, we could uh, probably make that a bit better by just giving it a bit more going in. No, not really made any difference. 
just trying to see if there's a difference between power supply and the actual uh, and this uh, this transformer and the power supply that's been you know sort of built for it. Um, so we're going to go for this THD and power jobby again. Channel one, um, steps fifty, range one to one hundred watts, eight ohm load. Let's just run that. All right, well, to be honest with you, it did about exactly the same. Uh, around about 60 watts um, before we start on the bend. And this is not now. Um, well, this is not now due to a lack of power. This is 300 VA. So this has got plenty of oomph to produce 100 watts from that. Um, unfortunately that's just not producing 100 watts and, uh, and that's um, and that's that that's uh, yeah so we could adjust the load to 4 ohms let's just do that to uh, just to see what we get there so I'm just going to put 4 there and all I've got to do on here for my 4 ohms is to let me undo these and I can attach that over here because so all I'm doing is I'm just putting two 8 ohm loads in parallel so I'm just going to attach that onto there and I'm going to attach this onto here and that now gives us 4 ohms so let's see what we get from that um, yeah, so we got four ohms there, one to hundred watts, and uh, we're stopping at one percent. So let's run that. Let's see if we can that, just make the range bigger. So our hundred watt line is here. Okay, and we'll just run that. Okay, that's just my. Um, it's throwing a wobbly because the battery's flat. It's saying internal error. All right, so as we can see over here, we got, as we got to that 1%, we got 128 watts, uh, 125 watts. And just on the bend there, we were good for 95 watts into four ohms. I'm not even gonna try the two ohm. And, um, Yeah, let me just replace this for a second. I can't just swap out the batteries because they're different batteries. Let me just that out of the way and just stick this thing in down here. Uh, millivolts. I'm going to stick that over there for millivolts. Hopefully you can see that. Um, we'll just have a little look now and see where this is on here. That is quite warm. So it says we're uh, 43 millivolts, 42, and it's dropping down 41. So in a while, you know, that will uh, that will drop down again, hopefully, to where we set it to. Mm. But as you can see from the uh, from here, yeah, there's not a four ohm. We're, we're definitely not getting um, the prescribed amount now. Possibly it's down to those transistors. Poss possibly the people who uh, who uh, make the adverts uh, a bit enthusiastic on their specifications. <laughs> But we're definitely in order of magnitude and slightly more out when it comes to, you know, the, the distor total amount of distortion. Frequency response looks nice enough. Uh, square wave looks nice enough. Uh, the thing that we wanted to see there was just for the power. But we can see we get, um, what was it, 60 something as it hits 1% um, on the A time and 50 with the. Um, Eight ohm loads on before it goes up on the bend. 
shoots up to one percent. So, uh, so yeah. So I mean, that's that's just that. That's all. I, all I'm doing is I just give you what the the measurements are coming off this. And for this little amp, I'm not going to say it's a bad amp. I'm just you know, on a lot of these adverts for these things, they're slightly enthusiastic, aren't they? And like I say, this is a uh, this is a three hundred VA. So if you just pretend it's 300 watts, it's got plenty of power to give to this um, in order to, you know, drive it. But we could look at it that you might get better and you should get better if it was the full 45 volts. I mean, they say between 35 and 45, but they recommend 40. I'm giving it 42 uh, aside. So it's got 42 minus, 42 plus. And the virtual ground um, but yeah that's that all right well and um, hope that's helpful and uh i'll catch you in the next one guys